Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we will make a character cross a bridge in Toon Lee. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Last year, I was tasked with making a series of Toon Lee clips for Russell's marketing series podcast. One of the concepts involved bridging a gap. So of course it made sense to have a bridge in the scene. So let's just take a quick look at the scene in question. Like how do you bridge the gap between those two things? And so dudelyfunnels.com and twodelyfunnels.com were a sales video to bridge the gap between where they were today and where I need them to go to actually buy ClickFunnels. So that was the scene on YouTube and here it is in my Toonly. And here's the bridge. This is what we're working on today. You'll notice for this bridge particularly is curved. So see my lady had to go up and down and across. So she's over here. She went up just a touch and then down, down, down. So how did we do all of that? Well, it's the magic of keyframes. So let's go back to our empty video here, our bridge crossing one. And we want to get this character here from point A, which is over here, to point B. And right now we're not going to worry about going up and over like we did in that one. We will, I'll show you how to do it, but for now, let's get the keyframes basics down. So we have our character and well, we want her walking. So go to settings and turn that into walking and then just go ahead and close that. And now if we look, she's walking in place. Okay. Let's make it longer. and she's facing the wrong direction. So select your character, hit flip. Now she's facing the direction because I want her to go over here, okay? She's just walking in place. Let's make her a little larger so she's easier to work with. And let's zoom out just a little so we can see our off-screen area. I want her to start over here actually, off camera. She's gonna walk into the scene, okay? So here's where she's gonna start. And I'm gonna go ahead and click settings and I'm gonna turn this bouncing business to instant. I find that distracting. So now she's just gonna appear and she's gonna be walking and she's gonna go from here to here. So to set her starting point, see this little circle over here? Kinda hard to see, but it's there. Click that and that sets that as the starting point. And then now all of a sudden we have a circle over here for our ending point. So click that and make it like there, just move her. And so now we have the movement. Okay. On this Metro bridge, I am also going to turn that bouncing business off. So now we're getting there. So let's take a look and she is walking across. We hit preview, get a better sense of it. So that's how you make your character walk across a bridge. Easy, right? Well, it is easy, but sometimes you have more complicated bridges like the one that I just showed you with the curve. So we're gonna bring in a new bridge, okay? So, okay, so I now have a bridge and it's curved like we have, but we have a little bit of a wrinkle here. So let's go ahead and bring in a character and you're gonna immediately see the problem. So let's use this guy. Now, when I want him going across the bridge, look what happens. This little side rail in the bridge image is behind him and nobody crosses a bridge like that, right? So that kind of ruins our illusion. So what I did is I went into one of my image editing programs and I cut out this front piece out of the image and just made a transparent background around it. And I'm going to bring that into Toonly. So one more time, let's upload a new object. And here it is. So here's that image. I'm gonna bring it in and I'm gonna to have to resize it. I have to do a little bit of fiddling to get it just the right size. 
But what I'm going to be able to do is cover up the existing one with the same exact image. So now we can place our character in between, okay? So now that looks more realistic. We're sandwiching our character between these two pieces and we're going to have them walk across. So let's have them start over here and end over here, okay? I don't want any of this stuff bouncing. So I'm turning it all to instant. Same with my character. So let's click our character. And remember, we want him walking. So instead of being idle, he's going to be walking. And then we also want to select this initial keyframe. So now it's set. That's the start point. So now let's set the ending point. And that's going to be over here. So now you can see the problem with the curved bridge. So he's walking across and he's going through and we're seeing his feet here and nobody walks straight across when it's a curved bridge. They go up and over. So how do we get him up here in the middle? Well, back here and instead of having him end here, let's bring him up to the top. Okay. So now he's down here. He walks up to the apex here of the bridge and then let's add another incident of the character walking as before and we're setting his initial keyframe right there where he is and then his ending one is going to be at the bottom of the bridge. Let's extend this and this. Okay, so he's going to end down here at the bottom. So now was up and over. Now let's go ahead and make this happen a little faster. Okay, so let's just take a quick look and then we'll be done. So up he goes to the top of the bridge and down he goes. And there you have it. That's how you can have your character walk across a bridge using Toon Lee and keyframes. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thank you for watching. Bye.